Okay, in the previous video, we checked out the nearest neighbor algorithm for this matrix, and we got our root, and we got a total of 745. So now I'm going to go through using the lower bound algorithm on this matrix and see what we find, see what conclusion we can come to. Okay, so for the lower bound algorithm, you will be told which vertex you need to delete. And in this case, we are going to delete A. So we're going to get rid of A, and then we're going to do prims on what is left. Okay, so starting at B, delete row B, that will select BD first. Okay, so BD for 140. Notice how I don't just do it in the matrix, I do, I write down exactly what I'm getting here as well. If you don't do this, you will lose marks. Okay, this is just my working, this is my final answer, if you will. I delete the rest of row D, that connects me with D, so I'm now looking both down both B and D. The shortest one is BC, so BC is 180. Okay, delete the rest of row C, that connects me to C, so I'm now looking down B, C and D, the shortest one is CE. So CE at 150, okay, that connects me to CE. So now these are the edges of my minimum spanning tree. Then I've got to add in the two shortest edges that connect A back to this minimum spanning tree. And these are 90 and 185. So AD and AE. Two shortest edges. Okay, so with those added back in, my total then becomes, once added these all together, 745 which actually turns out to be exactly the same as my upper bound. So effectively, what you can say is that the optimum solution is bounded between 745 and 745, which then effectively, well, that just means that x is equal to 745. So my optimum solution is 745. In this one case, the traveling salesperson problem has been solved. The nearest neighbor algorithm and the lower bound algorithm gave me both the same um, number, gave me both the same total. In the case of lower bound algorithm, it doesn't give you a root round, it just gives you a number. But we now have a root, a tor, that is equal to my lower bound. So A, D, B, C, E, A is an example of the shortest route that I could possibly find for this matrix. Okay, so they're the conclusions that we can make from what we have found.